I don't think it's appropriate for Facebook to do fact checking. This has been a clarifying moment. We're learning exactly what Facebook is and who Mark Zuckerberg is. At Facebook, we've tried to distinguish ourselves as being um, really strong in favor of giving people a voice and free expression. information on voting methods. When Zuckerberg announced the policy, he was clear that it applied to politicians, including Donald Trump. But now that Trump is violating the policy, they refuse to enforce it. Instead, Zuckerberg appeared on Fox News and defended Trump's right to undermine the integrity of the 2020 election. He went on to criticize Twitter for taking a different approach. I wondered if you thought that the Twitter may have made the wrong decision here. Yeah, that's right, Dana. I, I, we have a different policy, I, I think, than Twitter on this. You know, I, I just believe strongly that uh, that Facebook shouldn't be uh, the arbiter of truth of everything that people say online. The fact is, for several years, Zuckerberg has oriented Facebook's entire public policy apparatus around placating Trump and the Republicans. Trump is currently spending millions of dollars on ads featuring claims that have been debunked by Facebook's own fact checkers. I'm uh, very big on Facebook. In response, Facebook changed its policies to allow Trump and other politicians to lie in ads. I don't think that Facebook or, or internet platforms in general should be um, arbiters of truth. Again and again, Facebook has taken action to empower Trump and the right wing in violation of its own policies. I have receipts. Facebook recruited The Daily Caller, a website founded by Fox News host Tucker Carlson, to become an official Facebook fact checker. My politics are, are so complicated that I don't even understand my own politics a lot of the time. The decision was made even though The Daily Caller has a long history of publishing misinformation. The Daily Caller now uses its privileged position to benefit Trump and to reduce the distribution of critical articles about Trump by publications like Politico. Thank you. Daily Caller. Why does the Daily Caller get the fact check Politico? Because Mark Zuckerberg says so. That's a kind of a dangerous line to get down to in terms of um, deciding what is what, what is true and what isn't. Facebook hired former Senator John Kyle to produce a report about whether Facebook was biased against conservatives. It made no effort to study whether Facebook was biased in any way against liberals. They're loyal little robots, they're lemmings, they're it's a mindless horde of sad, insecure, dumb well, people. Zuckerberg recently invited right-wing pundits to his home to discuss partnerships and free speech. Among the invitees was Tucker Carlson, who recently said that immigrants were making America dirtier. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. And Brent Bozell, who said Obama looked like a skinny ghetto crackhead. Zuckerberg announced the launch of Facebook News on a stage with News Corp CEO Robert Thompson, a top executive in Rupert Murdoch's right-wing media empire. I do have one question. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> the head of Facebook News, Campbell Brown, continues to be involved in her own website, The 74, which she founded with the support of Trump Education Secretary, Betsy DeVos. Brown used the site to write a column lavishing praise on DeVos. I, I think, frankly, many of your former counterparts are basically lazy. Brown and Zuckerberg hired a former producer for Fox & Friends, Trump's favorite show, to head video strategy for Facebook News. So it's good, I get the word out okay. on your show. I love your show. Thank you, you so much, Mr. President. Right. She'll be a member of Facebook News' curation team, which means she'll select what content appears in Facebook's news tab. Facebook News, elected to include Breitbart, 
obnoxious right-wing website that was caught laundering white nationalist talking points among 200 trusted news sites included in its launch. We've tried to distinguish ourselves as being um, really strong in favor of giving people a voice and free expression. Facebook allows the Daily Wire, another right-wing website, to operate a network of 14 large Facebook pages that purport to be independent, but exclusively promote Daily Wire content. This is in clear violation of Facebook's rules. I hope to make um, you know, my fellow people proud of the work that we're doing. I've been reporting on Facebook because it remains a key source of information for billions of people around the planet. To stay informed, check out my newsletter, Popular Information, at popular.info.